mine, a fable by Leo Leone. Hey everyone, hello again. It's Mrs. Phipps here, and I'm going to share a story with you today called It's Mine. Now this is a story by the author of Leo Leone, but the theme in this story is about working together. In the beginning, the three siblings are not getting along and they want everything for themselves. Now, maybe while you're at home, you have been feeling that way too with your family. But I want you to listen to the story and see how they learn to work together. This time that we have at home, we can pull together with those that we love and begin to work together. Enjoy this story. It's mine by Leo Leone. In the middle of Rainbow Pond, there was a small island. Smooth pebbles lined its beaches and it was covered with ferns and leafy weeds. On the island lived three quarrelsome frogs named Milton, Rupert, and Lydia. They quarreled and quibbled from dawn to dusk. Stay out of the pond, yelled Milton. The water is mine. Off the island, shouted Rupert. The earth is the mine. The air is mine, screamed Lydia as she leaped to catch a butterfly. And so it went. One day, a large toad appeared before them. I live on the other side of the island, he said, but I can hear you shouting. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine, all day long. There is no peace because of your endless bickering. You can't go on like this. With that, the toad slowly turned around and hopped away through the weeds. No sooner had he left than Milton ran off with a large worm. The others hopped after him. Worms are for everybody, they cried. But Milton croaked defiantly. Not this one, it's mine. Suddenly the sky darkened and a rumble of distant thunder circled the island. Rain filled the air and the water turned to mud. The island grew smaller and smaller as it was swallowed up by the rising flood. The frogs were scared. Desperately, they clung to the few slippery stones that still rose above the wild, dark water. But soon, these two began to disappear. There was only one rock left, and there the frogs huddled, trembling from the cold and fright. But they felt better now that they were together, sharing the same fears and hopes. Little by little, the flood subsided. The rain fell gently and then stopped all together. But look, the large rock that had saved them was no rock at all. You saved us, shouted the frogs when they recognized the toad. The next morning, the water had cleared. Sun rays chased silver minnows on the sandy bottom of the pond. Joyfully, the frogs jumped in and side by side they swam all around the island. Together, they leaped after the swarms of butterflies that filled the air. And later, when they rested in the weeds, they felt happy in a way they had never been before. Isn't it peaceful, said Milton? Isn't it beautiful, said Rupert? And do you know what else, said Lydia? No, what, the others asked. It's ours, she said. Yes, at the end of the story, the three frogs were working together and they said it's peaceful, it's beautiful, and it's ours. I want you to think about that with your family. It's peaceful, it's beautiful, and it's ours. What can you do as a family to come together to make sure we don't have the attitude that it's mine, but it's ours? hours and we can work together to make it a peaceful and beautiful place. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.